Hey everybody, it's Mike aka That Reseller Guy. It is Wednesday morning and we got some more sales to go over. You'll be seeing this video probably on Thursday, so I think I've kind of got a, a day staggered behind here now. Uh, if you watched my video the other day, you saw that I sold a lot of sports cards. Today we have some more, not completely sports cards, but we have a few other things as well. Uh, the day before that, I did my uh, Goodwill video. Uh, if you didn't watch that one, please go back and watch that. It's kind of interesting, uh, you know, getting ready to get back out there in the world and get our businesses going, get out to the Goodwills and the thrift stores and kind of get back to a little bit of normalcy in what we do. Uh, it was kind of strange being in the store. So yeah, go watch that video if you haven't already. So today was another great day of sales. Uh, I think yesterday I did just over 500 and today we're just a little short of 500. Uh, eight sales for $404 or $494.48. Now again, that's everything. That's that's everything all together. That's items sold, that's shipping, and that's tax. There was probably like 70 some dollars in shipping charged in all these items. So that's a big part of the total. Yeah. Everything all together, just about 500 bucks. So we'll jump into it and get going on these items. We won't start with sports cards first. I always hit you with the cards first today. We'll do the other stuff. First is this pack of Sony micro cassettes. These are always good to pick up when you find them new and sealed like this. Whether you sell the single packs or find a bunch of packs and bundle them together. They sell great that way. Uh, this went for $9.99 plus another five bucks for shipping. And generally, when you pick those up, you can find them for 50 cents, a dollar, maybe two bucks tops at thrift stores or garage sales. So yeah, definitely pick them up when you find them. Next is a big heavy box. This is a Regal La Machine One model V813, if that matters. I don't think the box was dated. I was looking for that before. I picked it up, but yeah, I don't see a date on this box. It's definitely definitely vintage. It's got a little item number sticker on the top. So I think this came from like Costco or what was Price Club before Costco. This is new in the box. It was an open box. I pulled it out to check it out. It was a little dusty inside from sitting in someone's storage for a while. So I cleaned it up a little bit before I repacked it. Uh, but yeah, it sold really good. It went for $79.99 plus another 20 bucks for shipping. So basically a hundred bucks plus tax all in. And luckily for me, it's only going from uh, here in Arizona over to what's called Happy Camp, California. Never heard of the city, wherever it is, uh, but it shouldn't cost me too much to ship it over there. All right, this is sports related, but it's not sports cards. I did sell this very large Jerry Jones of the Dallas Cowboys autograph photo. You can see his autograph right there. This is certified. It's got the little sticker down there. And we got the COA card on the back. This is certified by Steiner. Steiner is one of the top autograph memorabilia dealers in the U.S. and probably in the world. Uh, they do a lot of stuff with New York-based teams, but do a lot of other stuff as well. And all their stuff is verified by a employee of Steiner watching the person sign these. So yeah, they had a representative in with Jerry Jones as he's signing all these photos, and they sticker them right then. So yeah, theirs is one of the best, if not the best certification you can have out there. This I picked up at a local estate auction. I paid $30 plus buyer's premium for it, which I think was like 18%. Uh, but I ended up selling this for $100 even. I took an offer on it, plus another 20 bucks for shipping. I'm gonna have to do some Frank unboxing on this to get it uh, padded up well enough for shipment, but it shouldn't be too hard. Next, we got two of them. I'm not gonna open the box, you've seen me sell these a bunch. These are a dozen in each box, uh, practice or game used in Major League Baseballs. I get these from spring training. I buy a ton of them every year for my contact. Uh, I've said it a number of times. I spent almost $700 on baseballs this year. And I think I'm finally getting to where I'm in the, in the profit now on them. I still got quite a few left that probably still have seven to 10 dozen left. So th those will be the main chunks of my profit. But yeah, I pay $2.50 per baseball when I get these. And these dozen sell for $49.99 plus another $9.99 for shipping. So like I said, these are going to different buyers, but it's 50 bucks, 50 bucks plus shipping on each. All right, now you gotta see Mike Piazza. Yeah, I sold another Mike Piazza. Oop, it's upside down, boop. All right, Mike Piazza jersey card. This is like a triple swatch card. It's got jersey, jersey bat on it. Uh, doesn't make it too much more valuable, uh, but it sold for $9.99 shipped. And then I sold this Fleer Rookie Sensation set from 1991. It's got David Robinson in it. Uh, he's the main card. Uh, this sold for, what did it sell for? $11.95 with free shipping. And let me show you how I, how I ship out sports cards in little sets like this. 
Okay, let me show you real quick how I'm going to ship a couple of these items out, just in case you uh, ever have some sports cards in the future. Just want to see how I get these done. I'm going to show you how I ship this little bulk set and this single card here. So we'll do this one first here. This is this little sports card set. I think there's uh, 10 or 11 cards in here. Uh, so it's already in one of these team bags, which I will also put this card into a team bag as well. It's already in a rigid holder, so it's going to protect it pretty good. You can't bend these even if you really try. Uh, with these, some people just put tape over the end. I don't like putting tape over it. Sometimes the tape leaves residue after you take it off and it kind of ruins the card holder. So I just like using a team bag. They cost like two cents a piece, so it's not very expensive. The The team bags I use, they're right here. They're made by Ultra Pro Team Bags. There's a hundred in these. If you buy them in bulk, you can get them probably for $2 and change per bag. I don't know the exact cost these days, but you know, if you go to a retail store, you could pay three fifty four bucks for a bag of these or in bulk off eBay. Yeah, somewhere somewhere in the twenties if you buy ten bags. So two bucks a piece. All right. So we got this little team set here. What I use is these little rigid holders. Uh, when I buy a lot of card lots, I have a bunch of these left over. These have price stickers and they're kind of yelling a little bit, so I don't reuse them for putting cards in, but they do work good for putting this set between the two. Uh, you can use little pieces of cardboard as well, uh, but these are easier since I have a ton of these. So let me put you down and tape it together. Okay, so there's what I did. Like I said, I basically just sandwiched that between these uh, two card holders. You can see I taped it on all four sides. That's gonna keep it from coming out. And why I like using these is you can see there's quite a bit of room between the corners of the cards and the edge of these uh, to where the corners aren't gonna get damaged during shipping. Now, with sets like this and with the single card, I already put this in its team bag. I like using bubble mailers. This is a number double zero. So I believe this is six by nine. They make a triple zero one that's a little bit smaller, which I actually like better for single cards. It's a little bit smaller. And then of course, you know, it takes that half an ounce out as well. Uh, but these don't weigh too much with a single card in there. So you'll see with this bubble mailer and the baseball card, we'll turn the scale on and you can see it weighs just over an ounce. So you basically got a one ounce shipment there. See this card set with here, I bet we probably hit about two ounces. That actually says about the, oop, I didn't reset it, that's why. So yeah, let's put the card set with the bubble mailer on there. And we got 1.4 ounces. So yeah, you can ship both of these at two ounces. That's gonna be the minimal charge that you'll have on eBay. So if they're close to you, it'll be under $3. If they're you know a little bit further away, it's gonna cost you just over three bucks to ship a single card in a bubble mailer. In the last sale for today, I'm not going to bring you over here. You see me do this a bunch of times. I got a couple big bulk lots of basketball cards back here. There's two different ones. They're all serial numbered cards, and it's actually a repeat purchaser. So obviously he's happy with what he got the first time. Uh, one lot, is, I made a little bigger lot because it was my last stack of basketball ones. So it's like 500 and some cards, and it sold for $49.99. And another one of my typical lots of 300, and it went for $29.99 plus shipping. I think I charged him 15 bucks for shipping. Uh, and I believe these are going overseas. It's going to a location up in Oregon. My guess is they're going over to China or Japan where basketball is really big. And uh, yeah, they organize it just sort of like the GSP program does. So yeah, it was another crazy day of sales. I, I said last month was uh, the biggest month that I've ever had. Right now I'm actually on pace to break that month, to like shatter that month. So I don't know if sales are gonna keep going the way they are, if things are gonna slow down, what's going on, but. I'm happy with what's going on with online sales right now. Uh, I hope your sales are killing it too. Uh, from what I see from other posters and message boards that kind of everyone that sells online is having a really good month. So uh, don't forget Friday, 5 p.m. Arizona time. I'm going to have my wholesale lots out there again. Uh, I don't think the people have got them yet this week. I'm waiting for some comments back. So once the, the people that have bought those from last week get them, please leave me a message or put it down in the comments. Let me know what you got in there, what you thought of the boxes. If you have your own channel and you bought one of those, I think a couple of you do. If you want to do unboxing, that would be cool too. I'd love to go to your channel and watch you open the box and go through the items. Uh, I think that's all I have for today. So please hit that subscribe button down below if you uh, haven't subscribed yet. Give this video a thumbs up and uh, please leave me a comment down below. All right, thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.